I caved, I bought more clothing online from a thrift store. This is my first time trying online thrifting. I'm usually the very particular type of person who does not like online shopping. I want to know what a product feels like. I mean, sure, it says this is of good quality or this has mild pilling, but you still can't tell exactly what you're gonna get. I've honestly been itching to get to a thrift store because I miss going in there, smelling the old scent that feels like your grandmother's basement. I'm excited to open these up, so let's get into it. Okay. <laughs> Can I break more stuff? First off, it looks very pretty. My least favorite part, which is uh, tearing the wrapping paper. You'd think I would enjoy that since I decimated this box. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> I want to touch it. I'll wash my hands after, okay? Don't tell my mom. Oh, I know what this first item is. This is a hooded jacket. Wow. Barney's New York. It looks very cozy and slightly misshapen. Whoop. Next in this big box, I ordered a lot of black stuff. What is this? Ah, yes, Zara. I ordered this shirt because I don't have anything really girly, because my style is very boyish. What is this? I have no, <gasps> ooh, I know what this is. This is my onesie, and it was originally $138. It looks very big, hmm. Why did I call it a onesie? Oh, this is soft. I don't remember what this is either. <gasps> oh, Aeropostal. This is crazy. Oh, it has the cute little bow tie. Should I be breathing this in? What if it has coronavirus? I approve. kept the gloves on. This Urban Outfitters sweater. It looked very cute and it looked very warm online, but now I'm seeing that it's actually very thin. Okay, it's cotton and acrylic and made in China, unfortunately. I don't love getting things that are made in China, but I'm giving it a second home, which is good. Does that justify it? Maybe. Next up, we have this. Oof. T-shirt. It is not a t-shirt, but it has a black mark on the front, which I was not aware of, and that doesn't make me very happy. The sleeves actually don't go all the way down, which I thought is what was happening here. Interesting. It is new with the tag. I think it's from a, I don't know what this says, but it's from some sort of store in the general area of Asia. Should I be worried? Am I gonna catch something? Next up, this thing that when I originally got it, I thought was a dress, but in fact, it is a long sweater. You know what? This could be a dress. It's a very cute knit and it's made well, which I just love this brand. I feel like this brand is very sustainable and it lasts really well. One. Box two. Oh, I get to open another box and rip it open. Should I have mentioned earlier that I'm not sponsored? Because I'm not. What did I order past Kiara? Who knows? Ah, yes. My more out there order. I got some things that I wouldn't normally have picked out. I got a jumpsuit that actually looks like a jumpsuit that someone might wear in jail. They're fun to make crafts in because I just want to lay on the floor in one or, you know, work on a car or play on a playground. It just makes me feel so fun. This one's from 
from Ecote, and I wanted it because it reminds me of that one carpet that I bought from Ikea and returned because it shedded everywhere. At this point, the shedding was just too much. I'm hoping this doesn't do the same. I like the inside. The inside color was unexpected, and I feel like I could wear it inside out. I don't think it was meant to be reversible, but it's gonna be reversible now. Favorite purchase so far. things that are out there. I'm not happy with this. Look at all the pilling. Do you see all that pilling? It's a lot of pilling. This is a dress. Wow. And it's from ASOS, so I didn't know what I was expecting. Ooh. It has this thing you can tie. Okay, maybe not quite that tight. And it also has a slit in the leg, which I thought was very pretty. The color, not what I was expecting either. thing that I was very uncertain about was a corset. Kind of. A tube top? This has a lot of hair on the inside. It's from Urban Outfitters. It looked very comfy online. I was just like, it's quarantine. I don't want to wear a bra. Why not buy tube top? And then Brain was like, yes. Last item. This is by Kimchi Blue. A pair of shorts that looked much cuter online than they do in person because now they just look like really yellow. Okay, I just have to clarify here because you're gonna look at the shorts and you're gonna be like, I don't see anything wrong with them. Well, in actuality, the shorts look like they're practically one shade of colors. The footage somehow makes it look really good. Anyway, I bought these for the summertime, which I will be spending most likely indoors. Lastly, this is something I really wanted. I really, really wanted this. I touched my face again. I didn't know that this is very, that it has no structure to it. Now the one that I fell in love with years ago had a lot more structure than this. And I was hoping that this would be the same, but it doesn't seem like that's the case. going numb, so... Oh. <laughs> My toes! I guess I should wash these now. I touched the door handle. Overall, I am pleasantly surprised by all the things I got, except that one that's pilled. Well, I completely forgot to talk about Pretty much all the important stuff. First off, if you're living in Canada and you want to buy stuff from ThreadUp, they are going through, I guess, a site transition and there were two websites. One of them was the old one and I don't know which one it was, but one of them did not have Canada as a shipping location. Every time I tried to place my order, it kept saying that I could not because I didn't have a valid zip code. In Canada, we don't have zip codes. We have postal codes on ThreadUp. When you put stuff into your cart, it automatically starts counting down so that, you know, you're not just hogging the stuff. For about three hours, I had to keep re-adding the stuff into my cart, which was pretty annoying. I was back and forth with customer service. No one was readily available to help me with it. Once I got all that dealt with, you're gonna get a call. They're gonna be like, hey, you gotta pay us about $20 or so for your package to cross the border. And if you don't wanna pay that, it's just gonna go back to where it came from, I guess. Lastly, returns. Now, I know this is a big thing with shopping online. A lot of people just, they're just gonna keep it. But I was brought up under the mentality that if I buy something and I'm not satisfied with it, 
I gotta go get my money back. There were a few things that came damaged, so when I wanted to return them, I had to fill out basically this form that says what each item is that I'd like to return, what's wrong with them, and if they fit under the criteria that ThreadUp has, then they'll let you return it. Because of this whole quarantine, my package was a little bit delayed. It was past the time that I was allowed to return it, so I went to go refund the items and I wrote all this in. The person who responded was actually very kind, dealt with the situation very well, quickly and efficiently. Like, I... It was the best customer service I could have had. What he said was, you know what, we're just going to refund you completely, we're gonna take back the items, I will pay for your shipping. That's another thing, you have to pay for the shipping. Now, on the other hand, once he found out that the refund was coming from Canada, he said that it was gonna cost so much more to actually get the parcel shipped back to them that they just said, you know what, we're just gonna refund you and keep the clothing. So. That's basically what happened. Let me know if you have any questions about that in the comments down below and I will make sure to answer those. Thanks for watching so much guys. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Have a nice day. Stay safe. Stay indoors. And don't sneeze in front of the camera. You don't have coronavirus.